What if you traveled back in time to the land of ancient Sparta? However, you're now in the middle of a war between the god of strength, Kratos, and the god of war, Ares. Throughout your journey through Sparta, you'll encounter mythical creatures and face powerful gods. Whose side will you take in this conflict? What gods will you need to recruit to win this war? Stay tuned to find out. Day one, I spawned into the ancient land of Sparta, right in the middle of a thunderstorm. I was in the clear, I quickly gathered some wood, and hid inside a nearby cave to wait out the night. At the start of day two, I emerged from the cave with all my stone tools, and found some nearby cows that I could use for food. After cooking it up, I went to go chop down some trees for materials to build my base. After chopping down a bunch of trees for the rest of the day, I realized it was turning night, so I hid in another cave. At the start of day three, I found a lake close by, and began working on my base. I figured since I was next to a lake, I'd make it like a vacation home. I made it two stories high, added a cobblestone roof, and of course, can't forget a nice fish. Back. After building my base, I left to go mining, found a nearby cave. Day five, I realized I was pretty low on food, so I decided to make a small wheat farm connected to my base. After realizing I still had no food, I left to go find some animals in the forest. And it wasn't long till I saw something in the distance. Oh, are these bulls? Ow, they're attacking me. I guess you're gonna have to be my new food source. Looks like these drop raw beef and leather. A burning village? What happened here? It seemed like the small village was intact at one point, but someone had burnt it to the ground. I started to look around the village for some leftover materials. I found some quartz in one of the basements, also found some anvils and some bookshelves as well. After foraging materials, I helped Bob put out some of the fires around the village. I then promised to meet up with him and his townspeople later at my house. With it turning night, I started to head back to my base, got back home, and then went to sleep. At the start of day seven, I left my base to go get some wood and started making some extra houses for the villagers to live in. I didn't want to try and cram all the villagers into one house. I then connected them all with some paths, and as I was finishing the build, Bob and the villagers showed up. I then went back inside to grab some weapons for the harpies, and at the start of day 11, I harvested my wheat farms for some bread and started to head northeast to look for the harpies. After a few days of travel, I finally arrived at the base of a mountain. I began to climb this creepy looking mountain, when all of a sudden I was attacked by a harpy. Whoa, these must be the harpies that Bob was talking about. Hits on the harpy, and after taking some damage, I landed the final blow. Whew, those things are tough. I also got 16 harpy feathers from it. After defeating the harpy, I started to climb up the mountain again. But once I was nearing the top, I got knocked off by a mountain goat. Luckily, I had a water bucket to break my fall. At day 14, when I was nearing the top of the mountain, I heard a really strange sound. Where's that coming from? I looked up, and there was an avalanche of rocks falling down towards me. I after a bit more climbing, I finally reached the harpy nest. That's a lot of harpies. I then started taking out the harpies one by one. After killing a few, I realized that they had taken prisoners. I started to head back home and decided to gather more materials to expand my village when I returned. On day 21, when I was closing in on my village, I saw something in the distance. Wait a minute, is that smoke? No, please don't tell me Ares got there. I quickly ran to my base to see what was going on. I was relieved to find out that the villagers had actually expanded the village. And the source of the smoke was actually a campfire that they set up. You guys did a great job expanding here. I drove off the harpies, but they were worshipping Ares. I'm gonna make some walls that the village is better protected. I have a feeling that he's gonna be here sooner than we expect. After giving the idea to Bob that I'd build walls, he offered his help and gave me materials to start building with him. So for the next few days, Bob and I started to build up some walls. I decided to build castle-like walls around the village, so in case there was an invasion, we'd be able to shoot from on top of the walls. After the walls were complete, Bob handed out bows and arrows to everyone in the village. I also decided to get some more food and craft some golden apples. All of a sudden, a large thunderclap shook the ground right outside the walls. Whoa, was that lightning? My hunch was right. Ares had appeared right outside our village and walked back through the portal, leaving his pet Godrius to attack the village. Does everybody have a bow? We should definitely get up on the walls and try and take them together. On the walls, everybody. Make sure you take cover. The more fear in your heart, the sloppier your actions. Stay calm and fight. After Bob's speech, I jumped down from the walls and confronted Ares' pet. I noticed it was carrying an axe in its mouth and tried landing a few hits close range. It did a ton of damage, though, so I backed up and ate a golden apple. After regenning, Godrius leapt at me, and I noticed I started getting help from the villagers on top of the walls. They were shooting arrows at Godrius to help me out. Bob was also helping shoot arrows as well. I then ate another golden apple and started to use my bow as well. That axe is a ton of damage. I said, stay away from it. I then went back in to do some more damage with my axe, and now I had Godrius almost halfway down. Down to my last two golden apples. I then got launched in the air, and all of a sudden, Kratos showed up. Kratos, what the heck are you doing here? Kratos sprung into action and started to attack Godrius. We continued pelting Godrius with damage and ended up defeating Ares' pet. Yes, we did it! After Godrius fell to the ground, he dropped his axe. Well, looks like I have a new weapon. Kratos, thank you for the help. Explain to me how I'd have to contact other gods for help, as an attack from Ares would be imminent. He then agreed to meet up with me later, as he had to continue his hunt for Ares. Continued his hunt for Ares, and I went back to the village. I then filled in Bob on the situation, and then got right to work to be able to contact the three gods. These three gods were Poseidon, god of the seas, Zeus, god of lightning, and Hades, the god of the underworld. First up was a shrine to Poseidon. To get started on that, I decided to go mining. I then realized there was quartz in these caves, which was kind of strange, but it seemed to be pretty common throughout the caves. After mining for a couple days, I went over to the nearby ocean to collect some prismarine and coral. With all the blocks I would need, from days 26 to 27, I built a shrine to Poseidon.
Poseidon. In order to summon Poseidon, I placed some offerings in the chest, including some lapis and coral, and it wasn't too long until Poseidon appeared. Oh, that was fast. Poseidon. I got back to work on the Hades Shrine. After I finished digging out the rest, I realized I was gonna need blocks fit for the God of the Dead. So for the next couple days, I returned back to the mountain that the Harpies were on. I would need for the shrine. Once I had all the materials, I returned back to the village. With all the new blocks I had acquired, I began construction chests and put quartz, netherrack, and redstone into it. I then enchanted some iron armor and was now ready to pray to Hades to try and get his attention. After praying to Hades, it wasn't long until I felt the earth shaking below me. What is happening? Hades, is that you? All of a sudden, I was frozen in place and a chasm opened below me. Oh no, Hades! I just want to talk! I was then unfrozen and fell into the chasm. I then woke up in the middle of Tartarus. Why can't Hades be more reasonable like Poseidon? Now that I was here, I was gonna need to find Hades. So, playing to Hades how Ares is trying to take over Greece and Mount Olympus and wreaking havoc across Sparta. Ares? Oh, that scoundrel. You just needed to talk to Zeus. Fine, come with me. I then followed Hades over to Zeus's prison cell, and before I knew it, I was in front of the God of Lightning. And with no warning, Hades uncaged Zeus. Brother, you have a visitor. Oh, you. Did you come here just to taunt me? No, Zeus. I came to ask for your help. Ares is rampaging through all of Sparta. I already defeated Ares' pet, though. Kratos is hunting him, but we need additional help. Ares, he thinks stopping on some mortals is going to accomplish something? Ares is trying to take Olympus for himself. Why would that matter to us? If he takes over Olympus, he's not going to stop there. He'll try to take over Tartarus next. Will you two help me? I think I can give Zeus a pass for now if it means getting rid of Ares. Hades then cast a spell, freezing Zeus and I in place. And before I could react, Zeus and I were teleported back to Sparta. Whoa, we're back in Sparta? I guess that means Hades isn't helping. Mortal, I'll speak with you later, but for now, I must go to Olympus after I send Ares to Tartarus. In the fault of lightning, Zeus did disappeared. I didn't even get a chance to respond. I then went back in my village, crafted some new tools, and went to look for a cave. Since I was in desperate need for an upgrade. On day 48, I found a cave, but also a desecrated shrine next to it. I'm not sure what that sound is, but my goodness. It's a minotaur! It's charging at me! Run away! The minotaur then broke the wall, and I started running for my life. I took- Look like it's gonna be an easy- I had the minotaur and a sliver of HP, ate another golden apple, and landed the final bow shot. Yes, I did it! The minotaur collapsed, and then disappeared. And 